Hey, hey, everybody, it's me. I gotta tell you this. This seems to be coming a current trend right now going on on both the music platform and on social media. <laughs> Let me explain. As you know, a couple uh, days ago, it was reported on our show, me, YR, Arknoya, and Keith, which, by the way, we will be live later on today at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. As always, got to remind everybody that Neil Young removed his catalog from Spotify, a music streaming service, over protests over misinformation given about COVID-19, vaccines, and such on the Joe Rogan experience. Now, Joe Rogan is a big deal on Spotify. Many people tune in to listen to him. He has many uh, interesting guests like David Lee Roth, The Undertaker, and such, you know. Apparently, Young was not happy about the claims that were made on Rogan's program. And he informed Spotify, either get rid of Joe Rogan or I will remove my music from your catalog, from your service. What did Spotify say? Go ahead, Neil. Take your music off. We can't get rid of Joe Rogan. He's a fucking big deal for us. So Young removed his catalog. Bim, bam, boom. Now, Joni Mitchell, who along with Neil Young is Canadian, started her career in the 1960s, and has also suffered from polio as a child, like Neil Young did, believe it or not. She announced that she was going to do the same thing Neil Young did, remove her catalog from Spotify. And I found out this morning that a dude named Nils Lofren who played up uh, with who played with Bruce Springsteen's E Street Band and released a couple albums of his own? He's removing his catalog just as well, and I'm surprised that this dude even has any music left. I know he made uh, some albums back in the early '80s, '70s there, and I guess he's considered one active ass guitarist. So you know, he. Uh, jumps around, moves around a lot when he's performing. For some reason, I don't know if he's a hyperactive dude or what, but certain musicians have that little trait. For example, Angus Young. He says he's a lousy guitar player if he stands still, so he moves around a lot. Well, he's getting up there in age, so he's not moving as much, as you can tell by the last tour that he did with uh, Axl Rose and Brian Johnson back in 2016 there, but that's another time and place. Now, because of all this, there's going to be a lot of jokes made about this. I already saw one early on Facebook today saying, Nickelback threatens to upload more music on Spotify unless they get rid of Joe Rogan. <laughs> and... I bet you pretty soon, fictional groups like the Archies, the Hex Girls from Scooby Doo, or the Banana Splits will probably be using memes protesting over Spotify. The Banana Splits will no longer upload music unless they get rid of Joe Rogan. Or the Hex Girls are leaving Spotify over protests. And by the way, Bruce Springsteen himself announced that he may be doing the same thing as well. <laughs> now, we mentioned this this past Thursday on our show there. <laughs> this reeks of the usual entitlement bullshit that many liberals, many Democrat voters believe in. Choose this or choose me. The choice is yours. Well, we choose this person over you, buddy. Well, in that case, you will never see or hear from me ever again. Bye-bye. Who cares? Who gives a flight ass fuck? You know, I don't listen to Joni Mitchell. I don't listen to Bruce Springsteen. I could give a rat's ass about Nils Lofren myself. 
And the only time I really cared for Neil Young was when he had that grungy, monstrous, rusted out guitar sound he had on Rust Never Sleeps, Reactor, and that half electronic album he put out called Trance. That was about it. You know, otherwise, whatever. How many times have we heard Heart of Gold or Old Man many times on these classic rock stations? Jeez, I've heard those songs so many damn times. Every time it, the first chord hits, I feel like going to the bathroom and upchucking the lunch I had earlier. Give me a break. I'm sorry. I guess the whole thing is that this entitlement bullshit needs to end, you know? If you disagree with what someone says on a program or on a podcast, you know, you have the right, you know, to pro not be happy about it. But to act like this, I'm sorry, it's bullshit. You could go on the same podcast and um, talk to the host, say, hey, I disagree with what you said. You got to disagree with what you did there. You know, plain and simple. You know, they will allow you to speak as long as you don't come in uh, banging on the doors and throwing every cuss word you can at them saying, you motherfucker, you have no right to say that. Ugh. You know, come on. Do it in a mild manner, okay? Do it like an adult. You know, too many people out there are not acting like adults. And we need to, they need to start doing that again. All right. And that's all I'm going to say. I said my piece. We'll probably discuss more about this later on on Arcanonia the Doctor slash Music Memories, which once again will be on our same time, 7 p.m. Eastern. Me, Ark, YR, and Keith. Come check it out. And don't be a pansy bitch. All right. I'm Dr. Earl. Subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, hit that like button as well, and leave your thoughts and comments below. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.